Hello, I'm Ashley Dorusky, and we're here at the 12th Annual PDA Conference on Pharmaceutical Microbiology to share about the implementation of the Growth Direct system at Biogen. The Growth Direct is an automated compendial plate reading system that allows for faster results, automatic colony counting, and improved data integrity. Biogen is validated an instrument and implemented for in-process bioburden testing. Our goal is for the Growth Direct to be our primary colony counting method for all plate-based assays globally. The Growth Direct uses the autofluorescence of microorganisms in a highly sensitive camera to detect microcolonies before the human eye. You can load your samples and walk away, and it reads your plates every four hours. You can program it to notify you with an email if plates exceed limits. Incubation time is cut in half, and results can be migrated to your limb system. This also allows for improved data integrity, increased efficiency, and review by exception. The system is non-destructive, so plates with growth can be verified and used for further processing. This image shows our path to implementation. We performed feasibility testing and then executed our validation per a validation plan where the instrument had to meet specific requirements. We then completed vendor installation and operational qualification testing, a performance qualification, a supplemental IOQ, and then compendial verification and suitability testing. Our suitability testing for in-process bioburden confirmed that the Growth Direct can count organisms growing in our product matrix within 36 hours. As this is an automated compendial method, it was important for our validation to compare the piece that's different, the counting portion. This graphic goes into more detail of our performance qualification. We tested five pharmacopoeial organisms, five environmental organisms, and one mixed culture on three media cassette types. TSA and R2A bioburden cassettes, and the TSA EM cassette. We plated five replicates on each media type and incubated on the Growth Direct at 30 to 35 degrees C for 36 hours. The instrument counted the colonies every four hours and results were reported after 36 hours. The plates continued to incubate an additional 36 hours, then were visually counted by three different analysts to compare with the Growth Direct count. This graph compares the mean analyst count with the growth direct count, and as you can see, the results are highly correlated. This time to results graph shows the growth direct count every four hours for multiple species and replicates in the performance qualification. The growth direct began to count colonies in as little as 12 hours. USP chapter 1223 states that in the implementation of enhanced methods for detection of colony growth, only the detection capability of the method requires verification. USP General Notices 6, Testing Practices and Procedures, states that automated and manual procedures employing the same basic chemistry are considered equivalent. This is also true for systems using the same basic microbiology, like a plate counting system that counts a CFU earlier than the human eye. PDA Tech Report 33 states that some alternative or rapid technologies may be considered automated compendial microbiological methods, especially when the results are in CFU. These technologies may be qualified for their intended use without the need for demonstrating certain method validation requirements. For these technologies, at least accuracy and precision assessments should be performed in addition to method suitability and comparability studies. Thank you for listening to our PDA poster presentation on implementation of the Growth Direct system.